Hello there. We had a question on the uh, PRISM channel on whether or not Casio PRISM will do a quadratic formula. Uh, the answer is yes and no. It does it differently than the 83 does uh, because it does not have a computer algebra system. I've made some phone calls and sent some emails to TI reps at uh, TI Education to see if they are looking to release a PRISM that is a uh, CAS model gotten some great feedback from them but no direct yes it's happening no it's not happening I'm betting it probably is well I'm hoping it is because they do have a uh, class pad 300 which is a touch screen uh, calculator that came out a uh, long time ago now so it's been almost 10 years that uh, is an amazing piece of, of calculator if you've never seen the class pad 300 I'd suggest you look at that one but this one does not I repeat does not have a computer algebra system but it does handle quadratics slightly uh, differently. So quadratic formula, well, you can actually do some pretty neat stuff. So traditional calculator, let's say I've got um, B is like negative 2. So opposite B, I'm going to need some parentheses here. The opposite of B is 2 plus or minus. Let's go with plus the square root of B squared, which is going to be Let's say, like I said, it's negative 2, so negative 2 squared minus, whoops, there's my 2, minus 4ac, let's say a is 1 and c is 3, close the parentheses once, close them, I think I got one too many there, so let me scroll up and get rid of one set. All divided by 2a divided by parentheses 2 times a which I believe a to be 1 here assuming oh I, of course I got the non-real answer so let me go into my mode uh, let me quit that one for now I'll go into my mode I'll set my mode to be an imaginary solution here Quit out of there. So you remember how to do this on the 83. So there's your answer. Uh, prism, I'm going to go into my run matrix. I am going to make a fraction. Opposite B is going to be 2 plus the square root of B squared. It's going to be negative 2 squared. I could use a parentheses, negative 2 squared minus 4 times a which is 1 times c which is 3 all divided by 2a 2 times 1 I don't know if you can tell but notice this bar across the top that's called the vinculum by the way the vinculum did grow as I expanded my uh, radical there my vinculum will expand the other thing is I can stack parentheses so if I like to have parentheses around my different parts here, or I can put parentheses around the entire square root, or you could have parentheses around all sorts of different places. Notice how they change color also. I'm going to get an imaginary solution, so I'm going to get that same non-real answer. I'll press exit. I'll go into my setup, and I will go down. So I get my complex, and I'll set my complex answer in, execute. My answer has the radical in it. If my denominator didn't simplify, it would also give me the complex solution that way. If I want to go up, you can go up. You can change individual pieces. I'll delete that, make that a minus, enter it there. It looks like it does in your textbook. Uh, we could do that on the other calculator, but you got to be careful of your parentheses and everything. The answer shows up in imaginary, but this one shows up with the radical. Um, fractions look like fractions, things like that. So if you've got a mixed number, um, 10 over 15, for example. 
it defaults that way. So you can do that on your uh, TIs, but that's the way you, you handle this. You can also store values. So if you wanted to store two and A, three and B, store that in B, and five, we'll store that in C, for example. And then type in the quadratic formula the way you know it. Opposite B, plus or minus the square root of, whoops, square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A there's my quadratic formula the way it looks in your textbook go ahead and execute you get your answer to look like that you can do something similar to that on your 83 I'm sure your teacher has shown you how to do that but that's how you do that here and your answer comes out in simplified radical form again if you wanted to change individual values I could go up here and say okay you know what I don't want a to be 2 I want a to be 1 for this new problem so I'll get rid of that 2 and make it make it a 1 execute it it goes through the command structure each one of them has changed after that you can go back up and change the second one if you wish you could change B to uh, I don't know how about let's go with a negative 5 and see what happens simplified radical form real nice so no it will not handle a uh, quadratic so if you put in an x squared you know minus 2x plus 1 it won't factor that because it does not have a computer algebra system but you can use the quadratic formula in different ways all right hopefully you enjoyed these videos uh, keep the feedback coming and keep those requests coming because uh, that's what gives me some of the best ideas is your requests. So keep them coming. Bye.